as we keep going further and further along, I'm seeing this general distrust that's been formed where medic MSLs, your field personnel, are not being allowed to actually go and educate um, physicians, if you will, or pharmacists or nurses or whoever it is, um, for fear that they might influence them too much. So how do you um, appropriately balance the need for trust with the reality of I can't reach you? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is one of those places where I miss conferences. I generally hate conferences, but I miss conferences right now. <laughs> it, it's a it's a it's an important problem that we're having right now, right? Because I think that um, it's I think that there's a combination of institutional trust as well as personal trust that needs to be built. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so I, I think that you know if when I first came to Voyager, I was the first medical affairs person at Voyager. And um, they didn't, most of the people there didn't, still don't really know what medical affairs is and does. Um, but nor did the clinicians that I was working with. And, um, you know, so I was working with academics who had very little experience working with biotech on publications development because pub developing publications with, um, investigators is one of the best ways to build trust if it's done well. And hmm. I think that, um, you know, it's, it's picking the right battles. And again, here, it's also sometimes finding the influencers, although this is harder, right? So when you're working in rare diseases, it's a little bit easier because the network is much smaller. But once you have one person's trust, they'll introduce you to the other people. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, but you have to be a trusted source, right? You can't, you, you can't, you have to, you know, medical affairs, this, but this I believe, right? So this is my, my belief is that the role of medical affairs is to be the educational arm of the biotech industry. Okay. I believe that to be true. And I believe that I can track every medical affairs activity that any function does within medical affairs back to an educational initiative. So because that's my mindset, that my role here is to support your education, mm -hmm. I don't actually have problems talking and getting access. Um, but that I think is because that's how I'm perceived and I'm in a very small community. But I think that maybe if we thought of ourselves as those educators, we might have those doors opened a little better to us. 